Okay, in this video we're going to try to determine if we can tell which of the, uh, the two capacitors is weak using a uh, audible continuity test. And if we cross these two leads out, we get an even tone, which means that it's shorted. So when, we, uh, when we're, we're doing this test, what we're looking for is, is the capacitor to charge and then discharge by the length and also the intensity or the, uh, the sound of the tone. So on this first capacitor, it makes a sound such as that. And on the second capacitor, so it's very hard to tell them apart, which means that this is a pretty ineffective test when it comes to uh, trying to determine which of these two capacitors is weak. This is a new capacitor and it's got a 24 value and this capacitor is an older weak capacitor and it also was a 24 which is now at a value of about 20.2. The reason I know that is is that I used this digital multimeter with a capacitance function and it determined that to be accurate at about 20.2 so uh, that's why this is a fairly ineffective test.